The summer sun will set, she said, if you leave it up there long. Take its beams and moontime dreams, leave town and be gone. I guess you could call that truth. I will call it lie. I will think of times gone by when you and I were fine. I will hold those days up to my eye. Sometimes I don't know what you were thinking of. All I want is someone to love. Take your time and talk to him, it matters not at all. I will give you time enough to know him very well. I am locking down the house, staring at the wall. All I want to do today is sleep like I once could. If you could give me that, that'd be good. Sometimes I don't know what you were thinking of. All I want is someone to love. All I want is someone to love. And you are pretty good to love. You were pretty good to love. Okay, in class we recently watched Citizen Kane, and I don't know if any of you have seen it, but in a lot of ways it revolves around the idea that a certain idea or object can maybe, to a limited extent, provide insight into a person. Is there any e idea or emotion that maybe not specifically spelled out in any of your songs that, underst that understood would give us uh, insight into your music or allow us to appreciate it differently? In other ways, what is Hey Marseille's Rosebud? What is our Rosebud? <laughs> um, <It's a> Nick. <laughs> <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> um. You weren't listening like that. I wasn't totally that listening. Like <laughs> uh, so, having not seen Citizen Kane for uh, about a decade, um, the underlying question is, uh, like, what is the emotion that necessarily... Um, is there, like, a certain idea or object that uh, would help us um, provide insight um, to your songs? Um. Yeah, or, or, like, a central theme. Yeah. I would like to say there is, but um, the interest of dispelling all romanticism associated with the music we make. Um, like uh, the Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> the Holiday Inn Express. Express we say a lot of Holiday Inn Expresses. Uh, <laughs> the tight-knit quarters of any space we have it because there's so many of us. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think... I think part of kind of our who we are and what defines us is really you, you mentioned it a little bit in uh, your very well written and much appreciated introduction a copy of which I want uh, if you don't mind um, but the idea of community and, and we are in a lot of ways a small community I mean we are um, a group of people who have a lot of different inspirations and backgrounds musically and when we come together, we kind of have to mold those in a way that produces something that we're all happy with. Um, and so there's, there's not necessarily an object or anything that comes to mind that represents that, but the idea of conversation and dialogue and um, uh, uh, what's the word? The thing that Congress can't do these days. Compromise. Compromise is the word I was looking for. <laughs> um, I don't know why I think of it through that lens. But, uh, yeah, uh, just being able to get stuff done um, with a lot of different interests and passions and perspectives. Um, and uh, I think that kind of uh, is who we are and represents who we are. And, and the music that we make isn't a product of any one person. 
Um, so I know that doesn't correlate directly with the metaphor represented in Citizen Kane, but uh, hopefully that answers your question.